and he's going off to his class. He's like, I have such a busy day and so little time. He's like, I got an hour before soccer practice. I got to go home and revise this term paper really fast. And he's being serenaded by this lady while he's doing his term paper. Oh, and he's so hungry and tired and dirty. No, we didn't get our homework done for this either. Oh, we're, and we're off to take a final exam that we didn't even study for. Surprise, we're moving today. Hello, all you fabulous and wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more of the astrology challenge. So it is currently Tuesday morning and Graydon is just getting some sleep. I do believe he went to bed pretty late. But today we have class, of course, but we have only two days left of the term. So we have quite a bit that I mean we need to get done yet. Our first class is at 11 a.m., which is all's well that vends well. Um, we have to submit a term paper it is right now poor, so we've got to be editing that. I'm going to have him do that once he gets up here. And then we also have to give a presentation for this class that is at 1.30. Now, these are back-to-back -back classes, so we'll definitely have to be doing this presentation after class. He did get the homework done for both of them, which is great, but he has soccer practice at 6 p.m., so I think we're only going to get time to do the presentation and then we'll have to probably go off to practice and then when he gets home he's gonna have to do the homeworks for these two classes for tomorrow he has not done so today is a jam-packed day for him so i'm gonna let him get some sleep here before we get our day started it is almost nine in the morning so he is gonna be leaving at 10 so he's got about an hour i should have got him up sooner but i'm gonna have him go ahead i was gonna have him eat but i'm going to have him go ahead and edit this paper he can eat later i know you got food on the brain but you know what you literally have an hour to edit this we can even submit it later if we need to. He's thinking about his mom, I guess. He's like, I wonder if my mom knows how much I miss her. And I wonder if she is, would be proud of me right now. I'm sure she would. I'm sure Sonny would be so very proud of her son. So it looks like we do have some new students in here again. I saw a very strange lady come up here in, in the bathroom using it. And lo and behold, it was a new lady, just like this one. I looked over here, and this is definitely a different person than before. And then down here, we have Eva and this lady, Kaiko. I don't even know how you say these names, but... We got some new students. We are getting close to ending our term. So I wonder how his term paper is right now. Let's see. I mean, maybe he could get it done later. It's normal. I'm going to have him stop maybe and go because it is normal. That's not real bad. Let's see. Our class does start at... 11 okay we better go it is a 10 we won't submit it just yet he still has till this evening i believe our term ends wednesday night so i think we technically would have till this evening or tomorrow i'm thinking but i don't really want to push it so i'm gonna make sure he gets it done he might have to stay up late tonight doing it and there he goes this is where he gets on his bike right in this room and he just rides it through the house that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. And it does look awfully dark this morning. And he's going off to his class. He's like, I have such a busy day and so little time. And Yuri is like, hey, I hear the festival t-shirts are out of this world. That is nice, Yuri. We don't have time. We do not have any time for festivals. Oh, no. We be busy, yo. We're busy. And I'm going to have him take notes. And he is back out, and he's literally got like five minutes. Wait, one, one hour? Oh, he does. If he gets out at 12.25, you know what? He can, he could probably get something to eat really quick since, well, we don't have anything over here. Oh, and it's closed. He has an hour before the next class, and it's closed. He could have gotten something to eat. I don't want to have him go all the way home to get food just to come back. Is, he'll be late, so I'm going to let him do his homework. I, he probably could come here and get food, but again, I don't want him to go into the loading zones because I feel like it will make him run late. Oh, wait, it's open now. It's open now. We can get some food. Order for here. We're going to get a 
Cinnamon roll, that's our favorite. He's like, real quick, I could get a little something before the next class. I got 25 minutes. Can I have a cinnamon roll, please, sir? Thank you very much. You better woof that down, buddy. Gobble it down, you gotta go to class, Graydon. Oh, and he is sad. Oh, he's feeling gloomy. Cause he is a gloomy sim. All right, you gotta go to class, yo. You gotta go to class, just set that right down. He sets it down right there. And he's gonna take his notes. All right, he is out, he is done. Oh, look at it, somebody cleaned up our plate. I was gonna have him come over there and clean it up. I didn't see who did it. Could have been Larry the Lobster. He's got about three hours before his practice, so I'm gonna have him go do this presentation. And Haley's calling us, guess what? My date with Shanice Ojo went very well. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you. And he is feeling now flirty, just call me Cupid. I know how to hook him up. I know just right what to do. He has got two hours. Now he has not done this juggling. I'm gonna have him practice the juggling really quick, but I think we might get time to go home and revise that term paper really quick. He's got it complete. He can quick go and go home. And he is on his way home. He's like, I got an hour before soccer practice. I gotta go home and revise this term paper really fast. Oh, and he starts practicing an hour. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, quick. And this lady's practicing the violin in our room. How oh, nice. All right, let's come here. And university and term paper and edit. Oh, this lady is really good. Wow, I guess her major is music. Oh, and he's got an automatic negative. He's like, why are these people in my room? I wanna know, why are they in my room? And now he is thinking, he's thinking about his mom again. Wow, he's really got his mom on his brain. And here he is. He is hurrying up and editing this term paper before he goes off to soccer practice really quick here. And he's being serenaded by this lady while he's doing his term paper. Oh, he's like, oh, I like it, I like it. I wanna see how he's doing. Oh, it's still normal. I mean, it'll pop up a thing when he tells me that he's got it done. Oh, he's gotta go to soccer practice now. Okay, we're gonna have to stop and go to soccer practice. I think when he gets home, it'll that's what we'll be able to do. We'll just have to do it when we get home. He's just practicing normally right now. I think I'm gonna have him practice passing. To, to try and get his friends up here. He is pretty close to being friends, I think, with this lady. And he is confident. He was bored. He was curious about clubs for a second there. And he's miss hanging out. As an insider, Greater Star, Graydon Star wants to hang out with his friends all of the time. All the time, okay. Oh my gosh, and his hygiene is just tanked, man. His hygiene is, everything has just gone down. Oh, we're gonna have to be taking care of our needs before we finish this paper, I'm afraid. And there he is, Graydon had a good practice. All right, so let's see, how is his performance? His performance, it hasn't budged. That's right where it was before. I think we really need to make friends with our teammates. And we're gonna have a bass with the, math, the muscle relaxing soaks here. Oh, and he got real dirty today at practice. It was a real dirty practice today. I think he might have pissed himself. <laughs> I think he actually peed on himself because look, his bladder is now all the way up. <laughs> oh, Anas, Anas, we need in here. Please leave. Thank you. I just peed on myself a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh, and he's so hungry and tired and dirty. Oh, I think you're gonna have to have yourself some coffee. He is falling asleep in the bathtub, so you know, there's that. And oh my gosh, we are gonna just replace that. No way, ain't got no time for no broken sinks. And there's no food. Oh, there's no coffee machine? Are you serious? Oh dang, there's no machines, okay. Um, well, he might have to take a power nap <laughs> and he is done with the bath. He's gonna come down and get something to eat really quick. He is just miserable. He's having a miserable life right now because he's so tired and hungry. He's like, yes, this is what I need. This is what I've been living for. Okay, um, we are done with that and you can go to sleep for a little bit. We'll have you take a nice nap. Okay, he had a nice nap. Then guess what? You get to work on this term paper. 
It is normal, so it shouldn't take much longer. He's like, yes, I feel not refreshed. I'm up. And this guy just got up as well. He's like, I got to turn paper to write too. He's so tired. And he still hasn't done his homework for the classes today. Luckily, his first class, his first class is not till 1.30. So that is good because we're probably going to end up be sleeping <laughs> is what we're going to end up doing. All right, Graydon's paper is looking good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and submit it now. Term paper, edit is outstanding. We're gonna go ahead and submit it, and then we're gonna go back to bed. Wait, did he submit it? Okay, he did submit it. He got, actually got into the bed before he was finished submitting it. All right, he's gonna get up. He's had enough sleep. He's gonna use the bathroom, and he's gonna get something to eat. And then he's gonna have to start on this homework. He has not studied for either exams, I don't think. We're gonna have a breakfast burrito this morning. And at some point, we gotta find time to clean this because nobody else is gonna clean it. Okay, so this class is um, Taming of the Crew. So we're gonna do our homework for that. You have an hour before you actually have to take this final exam. I really hope you do well. Stop talking to us, we're doing our homework. Oh no, and he is miserable. And he is off to class. Wait a minute, is that yours? I guess. We're gonna put that in there and go off to class. I don't know that he got his homework done for that class. Oh, we got 25% done. Took him an hour to get 25% done. Wow. I don't know that we're gonna do very well because you know what? <laughs> we won't have time to do homework. We didn't know we didn't get our homework done for this either. Oh, we're, and we're off to take a final exam that we didn't even study for. I don't think, I don't remember him studying for any final exam. I mean, he could cheat on the final exam. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna help him any. I think that will make it worse. And there we go, he is done with that class and now he's gonna go off to this one and take this exam. And he is done with his classes. And here's our roommate. Apparently she is done as well. I'm going to have him practice some of his juggling so he can get this on his thing. So we are all done with our, our term. Today was the last day of class. Hopefully we do well. And that's all I got to say. I have a feeling it's going to drop us. We're probably going to end up with an A minus or a B. Or either an A or an A minus maybe. I don't you know. We did do really well on our term paper and presentation. And Malcolm Landgrab, why are you calling us? Landgrab, what? Okay. All right. And he is done with that. And it did, I feel like it moved a smidge, but I don't know. He's got an hour before class. Um, I'm going to have him stop. And actually, he's doing really well with all his needs. Like, I'm really shocked about that. So I'm going to have him talk. This is his roommate. He's going to give a friendly introduction to his roommate. He's like, hey, I see you watching me. Oh, those are some beautiful eyebrows you got there, lady. She's like, I saw you the other night come in and your pants were wet. Did you pee yourself? Oh, she noticed that we peed on ourselves. Oh, no. And now she's going to be talking about some baking. Um, We're going to ask her about her degree. He's like, so what are you majoring in? Music? And she's in communications. All right. Okay. And he's thinking about his mom again. What? And she's talking about the weather. And he's like, I got a new record. Graydon is pretty sure he's the best soccer player in the world. Who is this lady? Colin. There is a rumor at my workplace that someone will get a promotion. Should I try? I don't even know who you are. Go for it. Oh my gosh. Why do Sims that we don't even know call us? Oh, I knew it. We got dropped from a A plus to a B plus. Dang it. Which dropped us down to an A. That's all right. We got another term yet. So those were our two classes. We did not study for the final exam at all. I am not shocked, but it did drop us. So we'll see. I think that might have just hurt us. We might only end up with an A minus. That's all right. Would you like to sign up for another term? Yes. All right. So we, um, this is our last term of classes, y'all. This is our last term. This term we have, as you write it, a midsummer's fight scene. Mary lives lives of wonder. Much ado about dramatur dramaturgy. Dramaturgy? Okay. And we are going to move off campus y'all i think it is his last term and i did say that during his last term we would move off campus so you know what we're gonna do it surprise we're moving today okay our total cost is only 210 are you serious is that four classes why is it so much less 
240, 240, 240. Oh, because we're not living on campus anymore. Wow, okay. So we're not living on campus. It's a lot cheaper. Our first class is going to be at 11 in the morning. And then our sec, our second class is here. Okay, packing up and moving out. As Graydon has selected a different university housing for the next term, he should take some time to pack up anything that is his. Okay, before moving out. You're right. We do want to pack up our things before moving out. I can't get to my inventory. I can still select it and, and um, put it on him. All we want is these things, really. Okay, we can still put it on his inventory. We just can't get it through here. So we can put it still in... Whoops. We can still put it on him. There we go. That's all that we had was our computer and those things that we bought, I believe. Okay, he is done. He is done. So can we quickly take a shower? Oh, we have no power. Yo, we have no power. Let's take a shower quick before we leave. If it's going to let us, I think it might end. Oh, no, he's going to bed instead. He's like, screw the shower. I need power nap. Okay, it's now time for Graydon to move out. So I had asked in the last episode that where we should move with Graydon, something that would be kind of gloomy, but also something to do with his soon-to-be career, the social media. Some of you had answered, and I thank you so much. You've helped me make up my mind because I was torn. I originally thought San Machuno. And then somebody else had suggested Del Sol Valley, which is a great, both are great options. So, you know, Sunny was, he has her star put here and he'd be able to visit it regularly. But I just feel like it's a bit too bright. I feel like it's not dark and gloomy enough. While it does have, you know, it's all about stars and celebrities. You know, he came from a celebrity family and all that, but it's just not dark enough. So I think we're going to have him move to San Machuno here. And I think for right now, I think we're going to move into an apartment. And then when I get a chance after this episode, I am going to build a house, I think, on a lot. I'm going to have to probably bulldoze one of these or kick them out. But I think for now... We will just move into an apartment. I feel like being a social media guru is pretty creative, you know? So I'm really torn. I feel like this might be a little bit more gloomy than Uptown. The luxurious heart of the city, Uptown, is home to the rich, powerful, and slightly odd. So I don't think the fashion district would be for him. Yeah, this is taken. This is taken. No apartments there. Yo, there's no apartments anywhere. Are you serious? I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to kick somebody out. So all of the apartments are taken. All of them. I decided to move him over here. There was just two adults living here, so I didn't feel very bad about moving, evicting them. But it is weekly rent is 1,200 simoleons, and then he has to have a deposit of 4,800. It is two bedroom one bath and it's a home studio it was a the nicer not as big he doesn't need a very big place for himself and we're not going to be here all that long i did think about moving him to one of these places but i feel like it's more richy which he came from money but i don't know i feel like this is going to be better fit since it is the arts quarter and to me a creative types are social media enthusiast or whatever you want to call them so we're gonna go ahead and move here you know what i don't want this furniture i'm gonna get it all unfurnished so i can do it myself don't forget to pay your rent on time all right i've never lived in this apartment at all so i'm gonna bring these walls down okay so i guess i'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time and get some furniture for in here so i am gonna do this all off camera and i will be right back so you guys, I wanted to show you really quick before I got started. I came here. You guys, some of you may have already guessed that this probably happened. But I, I was kind of thinking it might happen. But when we moved out of our parents' house because we were the only sim living there, guess what came with us? All of our stuff. Now, I had grabbed all of our personal items that I wanted, all the pictures off the wall. I put into his 
inventory, all the things that really meant something to us, I put in our inventory, our personal inventory. But the only things I couldn't put in our personal personal inventory was like Sunny's, you know, her award that she got and like any kind of promotional things that Jules got, like this desk nameplate. I could not grab. I could not put in his personal inventory or a keepsake box. It wouldn't go. So... We got those things now, but now I have like even more simoleons, which is good because we're, we're going to need it when we move out because I'm thinking he's going to have three kids. That means he's going to have to have a fairly good sized house, right? So um, I'm going to use some of this stuff, but then I will probably sell some of it as well. But let me go ahead and get this apartment set up for him. It's going to be very gray, very gray scale here. So actually, I was in the wrong apartment. This is not our apartment over here. This is our apartment right here. I actually like this one better. So it looks like there's a bedroom here. I think this is supposed to be a two bedroom and one bath. So we have, a, oh yeah, right here's a second bedroom. Here's a bedroom. This could be like a kitchen dining room maybe. And then this a living room. This is a really cool layout. I really like this. I'm gonna go ahead and get this place set up for him now. You may notice that we now have a 135,000 simoleons. That's because I sold everything pretty much in our inventory, family inventory. So the only things that I kept were these. So for some reason, I cannot delete this. It won't let me get rid of it. Can't intersect. I'm hitting the delete key and it's not letting me. I can't. Yeah, see what happens when I uh, sell it? It won't let me sell it. I don't know why, but it won't. So I also, this is his birth certificate here, but I also kept this piano. We don't have any room right now for it, but when he gets a house, I'm hoping to put that up. And this was from one of his proms. I did put up the silver. He had a silver and a bronze. I put up a silver in there. And then I did keep this uh, movie screen projector because I do also plan using that in the house and then this was Jules I don't know I, I came close to deleting it getting rid of it but I don't know I might keep it I don't know I have a hard time letting go of things that my sims have gotten from you know job rewards and stuff I like to carry it down from generation to generation most of it I don't know I may end up selling it later down the road and then of course if we have parties I just kept this banquet table that he could use and stuff let me guys show you guys how I decorated it I tried to capture the essence of Graydon and you know being a single guy this is kind of like a bachelor pad okay so right here is our front door you come in through here so we have this to the left of the door. I added this little laundry area and sitting area stuff and threw some clutter up. In through this door is a bathroom. Not a lot going on in here. We have a, basically a shower and we have a bathtub with a little bit of decorations going on. Over here, we now have a nice little gray picture and we have a toilet. Everything's gray, different shades of gray and that. And then over here, we have just the sink. And then over here, we have the living room, which I'll show you in just a minute. But then we have this here, which I really love. So I, I really like the gray, the different shades of gray, and then the pops of color. I really think that is really very nice. So this is basically all of Graydon's photos from high school that he has taken. We don't have very many from university sadly we were just too busy i guess in university to to be taking any pictures and this the picture in the center i believe is a picture that jules painted i think i put up this archway which is custom content it is something that we had in the house it was very similar i think this is more narrow than what we had in the house but there it is and we come in here we got his treadmill i just feel like he would have a treadmill he is kind of a sporty fitness kind of guy of course we have to work our com comedy skills, so we've got the microphone to practice our jokes and stuff. And then we got some little pictures up here. And then over here, we have a very stunning view of the city. I love this so, so much. So we have our couches, our furniture. It is, this is all the same furniture from the old house, from Sunny, but it just changed a different color. 
I like this for him. I feel it's like more modern and sleek. And then over here we have the fireplace and TV. And if you notice, I've got Sonny's award. Look at this, stunning. Oh my gosh, what a view of the city. You definitely get the feel of the hustle and bustle of the city life here. And it's very gray. It's very dark. Of course, it is nighttime, but I love this so much. I think this is the perfect place to be living for him. And then we come out here. Don't mind all the plates. Those were in our family inventory. I'm actually going to delete them in our trash can that makes us money. But we have a small kitchen and dining room. So I just threw up this table. This was all in our family inventory. The mirror I did buy and put there i just thought it looked really nice and these pictures were in our family inventory again i just changed the color and then i put up some sporty stuff to get the feel of great in there and we have this tiny tiny kitchen which i really actually i really like this a lot i think it's cute we literally have one counter that we could probably use right there that I kept clear. So you have here the dining room, we got nice modern, everything is modern and sleek kind of, and very gray. And then this view over here as well is very nice as you can see. And then over here, we have like a little bar area, which I really, really like. And then over here, we just have more. There is the memorabilia, the memorabilia I cannot say that word from prom, the record player from prom. And then I just threw up these pictures. Over here, we have Sonny's. This is kind of Sonny and Jules start together. And it shows the love that they had for each other. I thought that was just really, really sweet. And then over here is like the life of Graydon through the stages. Although we only had toddler because at the time of me starting this challenge and by the time Graydon was born. We did not have infants yet, so we don't have any like infant like pictures, but we have the, him as a toddler and him with Julio there with two friends. I think that's so super cute. And yeah, I really like this. And then through here, we have his bedroom. And this is basically, it's the same bed that was in the family inventory. I just changed it to color. And then this picture, I changed it to the gray. I just really like it. I thought it was really cute. And yeah, this is basically all it is. And then the dresser and mirror, that's about all that's happening in his room here. I did put up this poster, astrology poster. I just thought it was really, you know, this is an astrology challenge. Then the last thing is, is his office, which is the second bedroom you could use. But this is his office. I just think this is so cozy. And then his desk looking out over the city. And I did put up the pictures that Sonny had gotten um, autographed. I just thought it was a nice touch. He always enjoyed like, looking at them when he was a kid. So I thought he would carry over. And then, of course, the picture to the left is underneath the celebrity is something that Jules got from his job. So I just put that up. And then on the right is his high school diploma there. And then over here we have more of celebrity photos. And then this is a picture. I just thought it, it was space, like cosmic. So I put that. This is something Sunny painted. So I put that up. I did leave this purposely blank because I figured we could hang his um, college, his university diploma there, and maybe his picture, we'll see. And then, of course, his presentation thing that he's going to need to be working on here soon. And then a couple of other things from college there and these plants. And that's basically about it. So our first class is not until tomorrow. It is at 11 a.m., and we get out at 12.25 and then we have another class at 1.30. So he'll be going off to that. We have not done any homework and, or anything. So we have a term paper again and two final exams and a presentation just like last time. We are in our last term uh, of classes here. And he is pretty tired and he needs is in a desperate need of a shower. So I'm going to have him come in here and have a quick shower. And then I think he is going to go off to bed. So it is 630 in the morning and he is pretty much rested. I'm going to have him get up and he is going to go ahead and have some breakfast. I'm going to have him make a bunch. Great and Starry's university term begins today and will last five weekdays. All right. 
And he is up and he is going to get himself something to eat. He's a little bit sad and he's also upset from a bad social bunny post apparently. And here he is cooking his breakfast in his new apartment. And he's all on his own. No more students to bother him. You know, maybe that's the whole reason why he moved out is that he just could not take all of the constant influx of students coming into his room. Maybe that just finally ticked him off and he's like, I got to get out of here right now. I'm getting out of here. Oh, no. You know what? I don't know what his cooking level is at. I didn't even think to look. Oh, it is two. Okay. I, I didn't remember if he had leveled up to two or not or if he was still one because I was like, oh, what if he caught this apartment on fire? Oh, I hope I don't just jinx myself. And we're going to put the rest of this in there for later. And here he is. He's got this nice big table and only him. Oh, don't you just love it? Some things never change. It's just like being back at his own house with his parents. The more he thinks about this social bunny post, the more it is just upsetting him. He's just like, I can't believe these people that are posting online all the things that they're saying. I'm so mad. We're going to go ahead and do our homework for As You Write It. And then his second class, I also would like to get him get that done, which is Merry Lives of Wonder. I don't know that he's going to get both of these done, but we'll, we'll try. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get this done at all. And now he's confident. I think he's listening to music. He's listening to easy listening. Yeah, he's only got 25% done. And he's got nostalgic from high school. I guess that's from listening to this music from his prom. That's kind of cool. He's being all nostalgic. All right, we got to go to class, Brayden. Unfortunately, you only got it half done. And now it is time for you to go to class. Julio has come to see us. We just left for class. Aw, oh, dang. Is Julio our neighbor? Yes, he is. Wait a minute. Okay, so Julio is living with these two ladies right here in this spooky apartment. This right here. Very interesting. I guess like they consider that as a neighbor. All right, so our welcome wagon has come, but we are not home. I'm sorry, and we got a lovely fruitcake in our new place. Maybe Julio is the one that said, Hey, Graydon, I know you're getting ready to finish university, but I think you should move to the city because there's this great apartment with this awesome view. I think you should move here. So maybe he took Julio's advice and said, Yeah, I think I'm going to move to the city to get better in my career. And ooh, we got some... Uh, we have some sounds coming from here. And Graydon is back. I'm going to give Julio our apartment key. I think that he would. Him and Julio have been close since they were kids. I mean, you can tell by all the pictures we took. You can come by anytime. Here you go, Julio. He's like, thanks, bud. Thanks. And we desperately need to go into here and go to the bathroom is what we need to be doing. And they're just going to stand out here. I guess we could give this guy... A cheerful, an enchanting introduction. Wow. No. Can we just give a friendly introduction and a friendly introduction, a cheerful introduction to her? Oh, and apparently she is angry. This Janie. He's like, hey, neighbors. Thank you for coming. Welcome. Sorry I was at college. Oh, she is very upset. Graydon's like, no need to be so upset. All right, it is time for you to go to class, guy. It is time. We, of course, we didn't have time to do our homework. And he is back, and I'm going to have him go ahead and do his class, his homework for his next class, which is tomorrow, which is this one. Much ado about dramaturgy. And then we are, I think we're going to be going off, yeah, in three hours for this. Look, we're excellent. Yo, we're excellent. Actually, I think I'm going to have him practice juggling with that instead of doing his homework. We still need to make friends with her. I feel like this is not going to get done until this weekend when he has more time. And he has got that done and he's got two hours. So we're going to go back to doing our homework here. He is off to his soccer and there he goes. He's off to soccer practice. Very sad. And we're going to have him practice passing. Because I do think that it does slowly build his... Okay, so we do have a little bit of a relationship now with this guy. And Connie is calling. Just wanted to let you know, we're moving. Call me whenever you want to hang out. What? Who are you? And why are you moving? I don't know. Is, is it our neighbor? What? 
And Graydon had a good practice, and he is home, and he needs himself. You know what? Actually, we're going to take a bath here. We're going to take a bath soaks with muscle relaxing, and he can do his homework for much ado. And Graydon seems to like lis easy listening. All right. Okay, so we did get our homework done for that class. I'm going to have him go off to bed now. And I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. So we are now living in San Michuno. Here we are in our new apartment apartment which I really really like this I didn't think I'd like the gray so much but I actually kind of like it and oh, we are just at the start of the last term of university here so we have six days left I hope you guys liked this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you haven't yet subscribed it would be amazing if you did and also don't forget to click the little bell to get notified whenever I have a video go up and I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video bye Every day I'm looking for a way to return